Micrometal Corporation. This video demonstrates the field installed JW7220 economizer installation process on the new Carrier, Bryant, and ICP vein axial indoor fan units. The installation of DDC economizers for RTU Open or System View, as well as the economizers with the W7212 controller, are not affected and are installed as usual. In addition, factory installed economizers require no additional installation steps or modifications. The following slides show the specific unit model numbers and unit trade names for each brand. This is a complete listing of the Jade Economizer accessories that we will cover in this video. The Jade Economizer itself, whether standard leak or ultra low leak, or whether vertical or horizontal type, installs in the unit's return chamber as usual. Follow provided instructions. Remove the unit's outer and inner control box panels. After removal of the panels, you will find the vane axial fan units have a new control board installed in the unit control box. You can determine whether you have a new board design by observing the fan speed selector A, B, or C and a 0 to 100 potentiometer knob. This board has a new economizer plug, so the current wiring harness attached to the JW7220 will not plug in directly. The electromechanical vane axial fan units that do not have factory installed economizers include a hardware bag shipped in the control box that includes two jumper adapters and supplemental instructions. These adapters allow the current Jade economizer harness to plug into the unit control board. The hardware bag part number is 48TC003204 and includes a 48TC003198 and 48TC003199 adapter. Locate adapter 48TC003199, the plug with two white ends. Unplug the Econ plug factory attached to the unit control board. Now connect this 12-pin plug to the 12-pin end on the adapter plug. Then connect the 10-pin female end to the 10-pin male plug from the Jade controller. The last adapter, 48TC003198, has a 10-pin black connector. Connect the 12-pin male end to the unit control board and connect the 10-pin male end to the 10-pin plug labeled Econ. So that's it. We're basically just plugging in two additional adapters provided with the unit to allow the current Jade economizers to work on vane axial fan units. The following is a snapshot of the wiring diagram provided with Micrometal Economizers showing these two adapters. The instructions provided with Micrometal Economizers have been updated to reflect the changes detailed within this video. This video is to briefly detail the steps required to set up Carrier's field installed Economizer X with a Honeywell JW7220 controller. For this installation, we'll set up a standard economizer with a single outside air sensor on a two-speed rooftop unit. When installing the economizer, we'll access the unit's controls, so make sure all necessary steps have been taken to avoid electrical shock. Refer to applicable codes. First, remove the unit's filter access panel, and indoor coil access panel. Next, install the economizer assembly into the return chamber. Screw the economizer in place. Now remove the jumper plug on the unit's PL6 economizer harness. Connect the 12-pin plug from the economizer to the unit's PL6 economizer harness. Now install the economizer hood over the economizer and screw it in place. Reinstall the unit's filter access door. Now remove the unit panels covering the control box and the indoor blower compartment.
the jade controller is factory attached to a mounting bracket and the jade harness is factory connected to the controller. The jade controller assembly will be field mounted in the upper left hand corner of the control box. Screw the bracket through the pre-punched holes. Now disconnect the economizer plug from the central terminal board and reconnect it to the 10 pin male plug from the jade controller. Next, connect the 10 pin female plug from the jade controller assembly to the central terminal board's econ terminals. The jade harness also includes a separate red wire that connects to the R terminal and a brown wire that connects to the C terminal on the central terminal board. The white wire from the jade controller will attach to W1 on the terminal strip on the central terminal board. The jade assembly also has a separate green wire which will attach to ground in the control box. Next, the economizer is also shipped with a four wire harness with a male plug on one end and spade terminals on the other end. The male plug on this harness connects to the four pin female plug attached to the jade controller assembly. The harness is then fed through the grommets and into the indoor blower section as shown. Now screw the supply or mixed air temperature sensor to the indoor blower. Make sure the screw does not cause interference with the blower operation. Connect the supply air temperature sensors leads to the brown and orange wires from the four wire harness routed from the jade controller. The pink and violet wires from the controller's four wire harness will connect to the pink and violet wires bundled in the PL6 harness in the indoor blower section. Wire tie the wires together to keep them out of the indoor fan. Now let's set up the jade controller for your specific application. Let's get started. Push the left side main menu button and you will see set points. Push the enter button. On a standard installation like this, there are only four inputs required, or you can skip the set point section altogether and use the pre-programmed defaults. The first set point is mat set, which is where we set the mixed air or supply air temperature setting. The controller has a default of 53 degrees, but the range is anywhere from 38 to 65 degrees. I'm going to scroll down to 50 degrees for this example and set it by pushing enter. Next under set point, scroll down to low T lock. This setting locks out the compressor or mechanical cooling at a given temperature. The default is 32 degrees, but the controller's range is from minus 45 to 80 degrees. We'll scroll down to 30 degrees for this application and push enter. Now, if you have an economizer with a dry bulb outside air sensor, we'll see and set the dry bulb set. The default setting is 63 degrees, but the controller's range is 48 degrees to 80 degrees. We'll set the dry bulb set point to 60 degrees and push enter. If you have an enthalpy outside air sensor, instead of a dry bulb, you'll see and set the nth curve setting, which is to be used if your economizer has a single outside air enthalpy sensor. There are five enthalpy settings, ES1 through ES5. Check the economizer literature for the limits for each of these settings. ES3 is the default setting. 
Back under the set points menu, the next and the last item is min pause. The minimum position allows for ventilation even when not in the free cooling mode. If you have a single speed unit, there will only be one minimum position setting. The default is 2.8 volts, but the range is 2 to 10. If your unit is two speed, like ours is for this example, there will be two minimum position settings that show up on the menu with a range of 2 to 10. The first is min pause H for high speed, which has a default of 2.8 volts. However, for this example, we'll set it to 2.6 and push enter. The second is min pause L for low speed, which has a default of 3.2, though we'll set ours to 3.0 for this example. And take note that the min pause H and the min pause L are only displayed if under system setup. Aux2N is set to W1 and fan type is set to two speed. That's it for set points. Now we'll take a look at system setup. Push the left side main menu button and scroll down to system setup. The first option is install, which allows you to set the current date. Use the keypad buttons to scroll to the correct date and push enter. Next under system setup is equipment, which should always be set to conventional, even if the unit is a heat pump. Now scroll down to aux 2 in, which should always be set to W1. The next item under system setup is fan type set for either a single or a two speed. The default is two speed, which is correct for our example. Fan CFM is the next system setup item, but is not required to be set. Now scroll down to aux out. If remote fault detection and diagnostic monitoring is required, select SYS, S-Y-S. Contact your local distributor for recommended wiring to an FDD thermostat or indicator. The last item under system setup is OC or occupancy, which must be set to input. Lastly, let's reinstall the unit panels covering the control compartment and the indoor blower section. And that's it. The field installed Jade Economizer is now completely set up and ready to run. For more information, refer to the Economizer installation instructions.